Hey everyone, so Kandao, the makers of the Kandao Obsidian Camera, just posted some videos to their YouTube with depth maps, with the color on top and depth map on bottom, perfect for sick stuff. So I thought I'd take a look at them, and actually they look pretty amazing. They might be some of the best depth maps I've seen so far. So I thought I would make a really quick video and show them off in VR, in sick stuff. The first video is called Lotus Pond. I've actually seen this video before. I'm not sure if this is exactly the same video or not, but, I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, there's... You know, this, this ditch here and the, the ground is rendered really great. I'll go ahead and play it again and loop it. Um, and then, you know, this field, there's even a chicken over there. And the trees. Everything looks really, really great. I mean, even, you know, there's this bench area and just the whole, all the ground. Really impressive. Let's go ahead and look at the point cloud real quick. Uh, everything in the distance is rendered perfectly and it just looks really good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put it back into displacement mode, and we'll look at the second video. Okay, so the second video is called Double Dutch, and it's some sort of double Dutch contest or tournament or exhibition or something. Um, it's really nice. You can really see how the, you know, that the depth really changes as they jump in and out of the jump rope. You know, you really get a sense that they're moving back and forth in the space and running around each other. Really, you know, the accuracy is very impressive. Actually, if we look at the depth map, you can really see as they, you know, just the, the shades of gray as they get just a little bit lighter and a little bit darker and move back and forth in the space. There's also, you know, the different levels from here to these people, these spectators here, and even this, like, balcony area and then the far distance, the rest of the mall or, you know, whatever space we're in. Let's go ahead and turn the color back on. You can see, the, you know, the rest of the people in the mall walking back there. And then, you know, this balcony is rendered pretty nicely. And the roof even, you know, you get a general sense of the shape of the roof. And um, it's very nice. Go ahead and look at it as a point cloud real quick before we move on to the last video. Yeah, this is really nice. I mean, all of the spectators and all the other people are rendered very accurately. It's really, really impressive. As always, these playback issues are just from me recording and playing back at the same time. Go ahead and load up the last video now, which I think is actually the most impressive. It's called indoor testing. You can see we're still in point cloud mode here, so we'll just start with that. I mean, you can look at this table, all of the knickknacks. The table is a little is a little slanted, a little warped, but I mean, you know, look at the shelf, even the Kermit, even the legs of the Kermit here. Really cool. I mean, even into this hallway a little bit, and into this kitchen area. You can see there's like maybe a coffee maker here, stove. Super, super cool. I mean, all of the, the printer on the ground here, all of the stuff, even these, even these cables. Even this, you know, this, this iPhone charger cable. Is rendered pretty accurately. I think this is just very impressive. And we can come over here and look at the there's a Windows computer. You can even see like the Windows logo on the screen right there. Very cool.
Very cool. Let's go ahead and look at displacement mode real quick. This, this warping here, I mean, it's definitely within a couple of feet of the camera, so it's probably just from, you know, a distance thing, really. But, super cool. I mean, all this stuff over here. Really neat. Let's actually go ahead and play with the lighting. Make it a little dimmer. You can really change the shadow in the kitchen there. Let's go ahead and put the light right over here in the corner. This Kermit gets me, it's great. Let's put this light right on the ground. That is so cool. I want to thank Ken though for posting these sample videos for us to play with. I think they're really, really great. I haven't seen any depth footage from the Yi Halo yet, but I gotta say these are the best depth maps I've seen so far. Okay, well that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.